Smith and I live and work on Boomerang and Wurundjeri land here in Northern Melbourne. I work predominantly within the field of sculpture. My practice usually starts with ceramics and then I expand out into other media. I think most of my work deals with um, my understanding of my own queer identity and where I find that within the environments and the materials that I work with. That influence is drawn from my upbringing um, and is located within domestic environments and materials. I've always been interested in materials that aspire to be something more than what they are. Vinyl, uh, taking on or trying to be like leather, terracotta, the kind of poor man's marble. <laughs> um, and I think that aspiration in the materials for me ties into um, that regional domestic aesthetic that I'm so attached to. Decorator's Touch. In the National, I will be including two large hangings, which I will use to dissect the gallery space up into three smaller rooms. And within each room, I will in be including sculptural works that will be framed by the hangings behind them. I've chosen specific colours, uh, such as beige or light green, that for me directly reference those domestic spaces of the 90s. But at the same time, I have used a lot of greens and natural colours that, for me, create a landscape within that domestic environment that is my own. So, for example, in the work titled Tapestry, um, I've taken fragments of automotive vinyl that was used in Holdens and Fords of the 90s and 80s. And when you view those vinyl fragments on their own, they can be quite garish. But when you compile them into a full work, they have this quite subtle and soft palette that is reminiscent of an Australian landscape. By using this palette and then also um, bringing in craft, I kind of subvert those gender expectations that would be attached to something like a Holden or Ford in this country. <laughs> um, but also at the same time, by using vinyl, I try and undercut what a tapestry or the status of a tapestry might have in a gallery setting. So the work bed for me acts as kind of like a key to understanding a lot of the works in the exhibition. It's the clearest example for me of the tension between abject and beauty. It's made of three sheets of foam that are then bound together with floristry ribbon. When wrapped in these ribbons, it holds this tension between being something that is almost sadistically bound, but then at the same time something that's kind of beautifully gift wrapped with the bows. Um, and I think that tension between those two kind of poles of something that is loving and then something that is kind of controlling operate within a lot of my works. And it's important to me that a work's meaning and how it is read can change as you move through a space. For me, bed does that most clearly and becomes kind of a way to understand how the rest of the works operate as a group and as a kind of assemblage. I can talk about stage because I think it's the clearest example of um, why I use cheaper materials to produce something that has an object that should have status to produce 
a column which culturally has such clear status and um, suggestions of gender and hierarchies, but then to make a column, to make it really squat, um, to produce it in a cheap material like cardboard, to paint it in this kind of slightly sickly enamel paint. These are all kind of tools that I use to eat away and cut away and undermine and negate those accepted hierarchies. And for me, all of those tools that I use allow the work to be read less through its um, kind of cultural meaning and more through the just effectiveness of those materials. <laughs> glass that I have painted or will be painting on the uh, windows at the MCA. The colour for me is taken directly from churches of the 80s, which is um, the type of church that I went to when I was younger, but also the beer bottle glass of my family home. <laughs> um, but at the same time, that colour and the streakiness in the way in which I paint it is also the colour of piss um, and I enjoy that moment when something that can have that abject reading of piss yet when light passes through it and it fills a space with this warm kind of honey glow can be beautiful at the same time. A lot of my work um, works through seduction and I think when an audience moves through my exhibition I want them to lean into that seduction <laughs> um, and to consider the desire that um, is embedded within these materials. Mm -hmm.